So I want to talk about ketones in your brain. Your brain actually does not need to adapt to ketosis. Let's say you have this idea that you want to start the ketogenic diet and you start getting brain fog. And someone tells you, well, that's because you're in the transition phase and it takes a while to transition into full ketosis, okay? Now that's partially true, but the brain is an exception and it doesn't need to adapt to anything. It doesn't need to create new uh, machinery or new enzymes or anything. It has the capacity to run on ketones immediately. And your brain actually prefers ketones. A certain portion of the brain will always run on glucose, okay? One third of the brain, but two thirds of the brain runs on ketones. And what's unique about the brain is that 23% of all the energy that you generate is used by the brain. So why is this significant? Okay, well, here's the thing. When you start a ketogenic plan, um, you wanna feel better, right? You don't wanna have mental dullness. You wanna have high powered energy. You wanna have focus. You wanna have a lot of energy. But if you're getting brain fog, mental fatigue, depression, or any lowered emotional state, realize that there's just not enough ketones available as the fuel source. It's not that you, your brain needs to adapt and it takes time. If the ketones are there, it'll suck it right up, okay? So ketones come from endogenous sources, which means that your body can make them uh, by lowering your carbohydrate. Okay, so let me show you in this section right here. What determines how many ketones are in the brain is your blood ketone level, okay, it needs to be high. And what determines this is the amount of insulin. It still needs to be normal, but it needs to be on the low side. And, but glucose needs to be low, okay? So these two right here will determine how many ketones. And it does take some time. It could take three to five days for this to start to really uh, develop and actually break down your fat more efficiently. But the point is that the more ketones you have in the blood, the brain will be able to have them available to start working. And the brain does not have to adapt. It doesn't take time. And the reason I'm telling you that is that you can very easily assist this process by either taking some ketones for a few days or MCT oil, okay, which will help you generate more ketones faster. That way you can have brain energy right away. And that would be the other source is exogenous outside the body. You can get them as ketone salts or, or MCT oil, things like that. And as a side note, an infant can absorb ketones 15 times faster than an adult. And this is a survival mechanism because of this. The, the brain needs a lot of energy to work. So to help the brain survive, it has a mechanism to absorb both types of fuel and especially as that in infant's brain is developing, it needs fuel as a priority. Now, what's interesting is that the part of the brain that uses ketones is the cerebral cortex, the hypothalamus, the pituitary, and the pineal gland. And this is why a lot of people start improving their cognitive function, okay? Because of this right here. If they have memory problems, dementia, or neurodegeneration, or Alzheimer's, or Parkinson's, or any type of damage with the brain, they're not gonna be able to absorb glucose efficiently. The cool thing is that ketones bypass the whole mechanism and drive fuel right into certain parts of the brain. The hypothalamus, the pituitary, the pineal are endocrine glands, okay? And so ketones feed the endocrine system very, very important to restore endocrine hormone function through ketosis, as well as the autonomic nervous system. That is a combination between the sympathetic and the parasympathetic. And that's another reason why people that have problems with this system, they're too much in like stress mode, like they're in flight or fight, or they can't sleep. When they go get into ketosis, they do better. In fact, a tremendous amount of ketones go to the pituitary and pineal gland, okay? Pineal helps you sleep. So in summary, if you wanted to prevent the brain fog or the keto fatigue, MCT oil is gonna be a really good idea. Also, if you personally or know of someone who has Alzheimer's or any type of memory problems, MCT oil, and also exogenous ketones as a way to supplement and speed up the results of getting more ketones into that brain. Thanks for watching. So if you wanna get notified with all my content, click the notification bell next to 
subscribed.